I can't hear you, Malibu. How are you ready to powwow? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, out of honor and respect on behalf of that beautiful Eagle staff and all the tribal nations represented here today, we take it to Blue Star to start us off. It's grand entry time. Get it all my boys. We're gonna tear up some territory here in a minute. Do your teams and adults, fancy dancers, make your way up to the arena. We'll go fancy grass and then traditional southern and traditional northern. your gatherers, your ceremonial people, your caretakers, your boat makers, we call to moles, or your bow maker that makes bows for a hunter. So in a village, it's like a co-op, like a cooperation. It's, a, it's, it's like your hunter, the ones that go in the ocean and bring back fish, or they go to the islands to bring back the olvera shells, the, the, uh, the koi, the money, because we made the money on the islands. They would be kind of the, like the rich people that had the knowledge of the ocean and they could travel on the ocean. And our tamoles, our boats, they were made out of redwood. Like a big log would wash up and we would split it into planks and then we would sew them together with asphaltum and, and our twine. And then we would seal them with the asphaltum, so the buoyancy, and we would make them in a way where you could put, when the Spaniards came by here, sometimes you see a boat that had two, three people or some that had 12, 12 people like 35 footers, 40 footers, and everybody's paddling out, and they meet the Spaniards. But we had boats that carried cargo or stuff from the islands, or some to go out just to fish along the kelp. So you had those, the Tomo, the brotherhood of the Tomo, the people that were the boat people and brought all the ocean stuff. And then you had, you had the hunters that would go out and hunt, and they'd come back, and they would share the meat with everyone. The hunters and gatherers that harvested nuts, acorns, black uh, a walnut, 
uh, different plants, resources, they would bring food in and everybody would share together. The caretakers that took care of the kids or the, or the elders that did their part, everybody worked together. And, and, and that's the kind of a, of a working order that, that the village worked off of. The village, you would live where the surrounding resources was enough to sustain that village. You don't put a bunch of villages together when you only have one creek and waterway, so many deer, so many plants, because you're going to use all the resources from that area. You would have another village down like where you guys are coming to different canyons. You'd find different villages and different canyons because there was abundant of resources in that area and fresh water. Moi moi o We're asking Hale and Company to do another uh, cut song. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them another big hand. Beautiful dance, beautiful dance, the Warriors dance. The two mesh, welcoming, friendship, and blessing song for you. Hey, 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 ya 
go, Blue Star. Bring them in, boys. Rock and roll. <laughs> You listen to the beautiful songs being shared here today by Blue Star. These songs were given to us by our ancestors. And that does something very proud, very brave. These songs, these are songs of honor that we go in our beautiful traditions in the spirit of our nations. And today we dance in greatness. The true warriors and ancestors that have fought hard and proud to give us this beautiful song and our sacred way of life. Ladies and gentlemen, how about we honor that Eagle Staff with a round of applause.
My name is Julie Tumamaya Stensley. I am an island descendant. My father, Vincent Tumamaya, the son of Cecilio Tumamaya, and the grandson of Juan de Jesus Tumamaya. Our families come from Santa Cruz Island and Santa Rosa Island, from villages such as Shwahil, La Oops, Nanuani, and Maschal on Santa Cruz, and from the village of Hechemen on Santa Rosa Island. Sahipaka, once upon a time, here on this beautiful island that we call Limu, meaning in the sea. You know it today as Santa Cruz Island. Mother Earth, Hutash, was out here. And as she had created many things here on the island, she thought something was missing. So she went to a very special plant and she gathered some magic seeds. And she threw the seeds out into the earth here on the island. And pretty soon, up from the ground, up from this beautiful earth, grew these beautiful people. She gave them many gifts here and showed them how to live happily on this island. Well, her husband, Acho Oposh, the sky snake, today we know him as the Milky Way, he wanted to give the people a gift too, so he gave them the gift of fire by shooting a bolt of lightning to the ground. Well, the fires burned hot and they kept warm with these fires and they cooked their food. The villages started to grow and grow and be populated with more and more children. Pretty soon, with all the noise from these children, Hutash was annoyed. And she decided that it was time for these people to move on and to move to another place. So she said to herself, I've got to think of some place to put these people, a different place, a place where they could spread out and be very happy. Well, the next morning, she gathered all the people up to a very high, high mountain, Siwot or as we know it today, Mount Diablo. And as she told the people to look, as they looked up into the sky across the ocean, they saw a beautiful, beautiful rainbow, wish doyo. And she told them that that image was a rainbow bridge. And the rainbow bridge was going to take them to a new land that was very large, and they could fill that with people. Well, as people started to climb over the bridge and cross over, many became very dizzy and very frightened because there was a mist and a fog below. They couldn't even see the ocean. Well, as they started falling off, crying out to Hutash for help, she took pity and she changed them and transformed them into dolphins. And that is what we call our brothers and sisters today of the ocean, Alakoi. Those people who crossed over on the bridge went to a place called Tismahu, where it steams out. Today we know that place is Carpinteria and the people came off that rainbow bridge and spread out into all these beautiful places on our mainland. And that is all. Ah, ah, Satinati, Sata Latina, Alawaha Latina, Lakota, Lakota, Yomi, Yomi, Tahiti, 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 Ah, ah, Satinati, Ah, ah, Satinati, Sata Latina, Alaw
We're going fancy grass and then traditional southern and traditional northern. Thank you. 